Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahadaka Kodash. Now, Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power, the Most High God of Israel, the God that's spoken of in the Bible, and the true name of His only begotten Son, through which salvation comes, is Yahweh Shai. Okay, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. So, as you can see, this is um, an illustration of well, what went down in 70 AD when the Romans, you know, besieged um, Jerusalem. And I believe that after four months, they got hold of it and burnt down the temple. Um, what you should understand is who are these Romans, okay, and who are the Israelites? So this is this is a question that, if you've been in this truth for some time, you would you when you when coming into this truth, the first thing you learn is your identity, your heritage, who you are, and then you learn to know who your enemies are, because you see the big trick in this. In this world that we're living in is, you know, people, we, we don't know who our friends are. And we don't know who our enemies are, you know. The people we might think that our friends are actually our, our enemies. And those who we think that are our enemies might be our friends, you know. <clears throat> so in coming to this truth, you know, just like the scripture says, you know, learn, um, um, know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You know, this truth will set you free. Because, you see, the, the the true Israelites that's been spoken of in the Bible are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latino. And this is just a basic elementary lesson, you know. Someone new might be watching this, this video and want to learn about this truth. This is just a basic lesson. The true Hebrew Israelites that's been spoken of in the Bible are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos. Then you have Israelites, okay, who have been carried away captives into various parts of the world and you know they find themselves in different countries right now looking like the people that are in that country you have israelites looking like um, indians you have israelites looking like the so-called white man you have israelites looking like um chinese you know that's because you know we've we've been scattered around the four corners of the earth you know and we've mingled with these people so these are the true israelites now speaking of who this these romans are these romans are our enemy man they are enemies and this this type way back from um from esau and jacob you can go read the book of genesis the 25th chapter you know from the 25th verse it tells you you know these two nations that came out of the womb of rebecca you know these two nations are, are enemies man they are it was prophesied that they, they were going to be against each other you know there is, there is always going to be an enmity between them. And Esau represents the so-called white man because the description of how he came out from the mother's womb was given. It came out red. Why? Because it lacked pigmentation, which is melanin. And it's only um, the details of his skin color that was given because the rest of the people came out with melanin, you know. So this man... Is, is, is this romance that came to destroy Jerusalem and it has always been a war from time to time okay even even at the time of um the Babylonians you know because the Babylonians also came and took us captives and they destroyed our temple but it wasn't really the Babylonians that actually destroyed our temple it was this Edomites that destroyed our temple and I'll bring it out from the scriptures you know so this Edomites, it's it's a perpetual hatred, man. Let me see. Uh, 
ok let me see oh please bear with me there's a scripture i'm looking for um now Esau Okay, there we go. That's um Khan. Okay, it also tells you in the book of Ezekiel 35th chapter the fifth verse it says because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of israel by the force of the sword in thy time of their calamity this is speaking of esau but let me see let's just take a look real quick Please bear with me. I didn't plan to bring out the scriptures. Esau. Khan. So it says in the book, this is the book of Genesis 27, 41. It says, And Esau ate Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are hand at hand. Then will I say, Slay my brother Jacob. So you see and because of this you see the most I himself hates esau you know and i hated esau and laid his mountain waste and his heritage as it is written jacob have i loved but esau have i hated so esau represents the wicked okay the book of malachi the fourth chapter it tells you is there is the is the um border of wickedness okay esau represents the wicked and jacob represents the good so this has always been a, a, a war, you know, from time to time, okay? So the reason why I'm saying this is this man is still on this plan, man, you know? But now it has moved to a different stage. But before we get that, I'm going to get the book of um, Psalm 137, which you have the account of how the temple of Jerusalem was burnt during the time of the babylonians when they sieged babylonians okay and you see here in verse this is the book of psalm 137 verse 7 it says remember who you are the children of edom in the day of jerusalem who said raise it raise it even to the foundation thereof okay now you reading this you might think the sons of east edom were actually there and they were just cheering up the, the, the Babylonians. No, the children of Edom are actually the ones that burnt down the, 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 the temple. And how do you know that? The record is in the book of First Ezra 4 and 45. You know, this is a nice book. You should go read everything. Which says, Thou also hast vowed to build up the temple, and this is um, um, who is speaking here? Um, was it um, what's his name? I think it was Zerubbabel. Okay, because if you go to the first chapter, can just hold on a second, please. Just. I think the third chapter, okay. Okay, please hold on. Okay, you see, it's Zerubbabel speaking, okay, which through the spirit, that's King David, man, you know, let's just, let's just leave it like that. So the fourth 
the fourth chapter and the 45th verse you know he you can go read from the beginning of the chapter for yourself it's a beautiful chapter where he did he said he he, he said something like a poem you know spoke about what's the strongest which he, he said the, the woman and the truth is the strongest and this really pleased the king and the king granted him um some wishes and he and he asked the king the king to permit them to go rebuild the temple that was destroyed during the time of the babylonians you know by the king's father you know so this is verse 45 it says thou also has vowed to build up the temple which the edomites burned when judea was made desolate by the chaldeans so you see the edomites are the ones that burned the temple so you see <laughs> They didn't only burn the temple at 70 AD. They also burned the temple during the time of the Babylonians. You see? So that's why it said here, Remember, O oh, Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation thereof. O oh, daughter of Babylon. So you see, Edom is also known as the daughter of Babylon. Okay? Say, O daughter of Babylon, O are to be destroyed. Happy shall be he that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. So you see, and this man is still on on this on this quest till this day. And now it has moved to a, a, a different um situation. Now, remember, we no longer need a physical temple, we have a spiritual temple, which is our body, as the book of First Corinthians tells you. Okay, this is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19. It says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, okay, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not of your own? So you see, our body is the temple of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's why we have to preserve ourselves as a living sacrifice, you know, following His commandments to the best of our ability, you know, do, being the best version of ourselves that we can in this truth and in sincerity, you know. So our body is a temple, you know, we've been given different commandments of how to care for our body, how to carry ourselves and all these things. And Esau, the so-called white man, which is also, the, uh, the, is also he, he took the identity of the Greeks and the Romans, okay. This man... His plan is to destroy this temple, which is your body. You know, that's why it poisons your food. It poisons your water, fills it up with all fluoride and all different kinds of toxins. Toxins, you know. Yesterday, I was out there doing um, the camp. You know, I couldn't even stand staying outside anymore because, you know, I'm just developing some weird allergies, you know. When I stand under that tree, under that place, you know, I start developing some feel like i'm my throat there's something entering into my throat or something you know this is esau he's trying to destroy your body you know and that's how it's me he's been pushing that that's that's thing that they stick into your shoulder there and that that's um, vicky venom okay let's just put it like that the vicky venom the crown royale the the juicy juice you know it's all venom to destroy your body, which is the temple of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's why he pushes all different kinds of legislations. You know, a man can chop off his rod and become a woman. A woman can uh, a woman can take off a breast and become a man. You know, he's doing all this spiritually to to um to to put a distance between you and the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because the temple was very very instrumental for us in getting connection to the most high that's where we took our sacrifices to that's where that's where we had connection with the most high you know so they know about this in the past time and they they, they destroyed those temples they they tried to keep us away from the, from from our true power which is Yahweh but Hashem Yahushai and now that's what he's doing seeing that you know our body is now the temple you know so Take heed, man. You know, I just wanted to bring out this short lesson. Hopefully, it was edifying through the spirit and power of the most high Yahweh Shai. 
because the the, the next step that this devil is taking now is um is that of totally owning your temple man and that's what's written in the book of um revelation the 13th chapter the 16th verse that's his next step that's what he wants to do you know this thing because it all both small and great rich and poor free and born to receive a paragma in their right hand or in their forehead you see so hey that's it hopefully this lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of the most high yahweh shimei i'll try until the next one shalom